Hi there, beautiful people. I am back. It's been a long day. Very long day. I am living my hat. I'm living my hat. I had to show support for my LGBT community. So, that's why I'm wearing this hat. I support you all. So, but I didn't want to talk about that. I wanted to talk about other things. First of all, how is everybody doing? Is everybody okay? Sound off in the comments. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all are doing. You know, it's it's just not about me. It's just not about you. It's about everybody as a whole. So, you know, sound off down below and let me know how y'all are doing. It's been a long day for me. Very long. So, I just wanted to touch base and see how everybody was doing. I mean, I had two clients today. So, that wasn't too much. It was only two hours at one client's house and two and a half hours at another client's house. I'm doing home health care again. So, it was a long day. Very long day. So, and then, no sooner do I get off of work, had to run to my local bank while I'm there. The local bank is inside of a grocery store. No sooner did I get there, the side of the store where the bank is, those doors are closed. They're not allowing anybody in or out that door. I was like, okay, let me go to the middle door. No, nope, that's strictly an exit. So I had to walk way at the other end by the fruit and vegetables section to get in that door. And then as soon as you get in there, I thought I can just cut straight across where the aisles are open. No, they had that all roped off. I completely had to walk to the back of the store all the way around to get to the bank. As soon as I did that, oh, that just ticked me off just ticked me off. Did what I had to do. Then I turned around, started leaving out the exit, and the lady looked at me. She said, have a good day. And I looked at her like, oh, no. Mm -mm. But I think it's just because I'm so tired and everything. And I just don't have time for this. You know, you want business up in your store? Come on, let's do it the right way. Have all the exits open. Nobody, if you're just conducting business at one side of the store, don't have that side closed off or anything. So, then I had to pick up somebody to go get a battery for the car. Well, I picked him up, came back to my apartment, got my husband, he got his tools, took it over there for this person to pull the old battery up out of the car. And look what happened. No sooner did we, they, no sooner did they get the battery out, boom, all of a sudden, rain just fell. So I immediately took them to go get their battery, the new battery. After I did that, I brought them back to their vehicle, and they were like, man, I can't put that in today. I'll get fried. Yeah, because there are cars out there on the side of the street. It's not legal to, you know, put it up in the driveway, double cars like that, if it's not an attached garage to the house. Or, what do they call those, John? Carports? Carport. Yeah. Carport. So, couldn't do that. Then, I was like, that's it. I'm going home. I've had it. No more today. Then I got some news. Heart of Texas Goodwill has decided to close down all of Heart of Texas Goodwills. From Bryan College Station, to Waco, to Temple, Colleen, Belton, Coppers Cove. They're going to be closed from starting at 6 p.m. today. Because they changed their hours once they got notice about this virus going around. That their hours, instead of being from 9 to 8, Monday through Saturday, and t 
10 to 7 on Sundays. They decided from 10 to 6 ever since the virus thing. Well, out of abundance of caution, they decided to close up until at the end of business today at 6, which is already after 6 central time. They decided that they were going to close up and stay closed until April 5th. Anything longer, they will send email to notify these people, blah, 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 if it's going to be longer than April 5th. Come on, people. we got to pray for a miracle. We really, really do. We have really got to pray for a miracle that this will all be resolved real fast. It's bad. My town looks like a ghost town. I live up in a military town. I'm used to seeing the roads jam-packed with vehicles. You know, GI's going on post, GI's going off post. I'm used to seeing that. It's just a ghost town. It's not good. Not good at all. Alright, y'all come back now.